Ladies and gentlemen, and to anyone watching this, this is the second video, and I am very sad to inform you that the Eclipse Catfish did not make it. I know. I'm sad. I'm heartbroken. But I don't know. I think it was a swim bladder thing. Eclipse Catfishes, they don't really adjust to water well, so that could have been uh, one of the reasons why. But, because Buford is no longer with us, we're going to go out and buy a new fish. I don't know what we're going to get, but it's going to be something cool. Could be something big, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm also going to buy uh, more food for the bluegill because the uh, bloodworms I have are running pretty low. And I'm going to buy some goldfish for them to eat as well because I do feed them goldfish about once a week. Before we go, if you guys didn't watch my last video, this is the 40 gallon tank. Um, I did add this rock right here, which I bought for two bucks. And the four line catfish has loved it under here. And the uh, channel catfish too. He's chilling over here right now. He's doing his thing. But yeah, the catfish, another place to hide for them. It's uh, good. They like the dark. They like to be in tight spaces. See, so yeah, that's good. They're spending a lot of time here. Uh, these guys, this bluegill, and the other one who is... Let's see if I can get a shot. Can you see him back there? I don't know. You might be able to see him back there. Back there. Um, they've been fighting a lot. So when I do get something else, which is a hint, hint, um, hopefully it won't be fighting anymore. But yeah, we're going to go head to PetSmart, and we're going to go pick out a brand new fish. They have so many cool fish here, there's <laughs> hundreds of options. All reasonably priced too. It's crazy, they got Oscars, they got bullfish, they got like koi things, they got, um, what? What are those? That's what they can do. Chubby's I So weird looking fish, that's his head, that's his tail, or it might be separate fish, I don't know. Wait, why does that have all those spots on it? I don't know. That's where they were made, I guess. These guys are cool. They don't have too many big fish here at Petsmart, but as you can see, they have a hundred million different tags. They have a lot of fish, they have millions of goldfish, a lot of fish. What does Pepper do? Are you stopping? Yeah, yeah, okay. He's stopping. He's stopping. These are big ones in the back. I like those. The Bala sharks, those are sick too. I like them. Are these mollies? It looks like a molly to me. But oh, these these are sick though. So Pure cool. black mollies. I like them. Those are cool. <laughs> that rock's cool yeah. too. And they have more mollies over here. Python spotted pucko. These are cool. I like those. Cool. These red devil singles are sick too. They're cool. Beautiful fish. They're a lot of money. Parrot fish. They have so many options here of fish. And they also have so many tanks. 75 gallon tanks. They got everything here. They're sick. A lot of options. They're very cool. These glowfish. Some people prefer glowfish tanks. I really don't, but they look kind of cool. Yeah. It's that orange, pink, green. They have so yeah. much different things. They have, ooh, they have angelfish. Angelfish, when they get big, they look cool. Especially the cool. zebra angelfish, which I don't see. I like the same. golden one. That's cool. But yeah, the zebra angelfish I really like. These guys, rainbow shark. Those are cool. Ooh. And the pink kissing fish, those are really popular among aquarium people as well. Oh, these are cool. Tiger barbs, yeah. These are cool. Wow, these are very popular too. Mm -hmm. Tiger barbs are sick. More tiger barbs down here. Yeah. They have so many options. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I'd rather have that one. We've got that one. That's kind of cool. Sunburst Pladis. Paul Kafaro from the Nevadas, he's really into Mollies and Pladis and all that. He keeps a lot of them in his pond. Personally, 
I'm not really into that. I'm more, I'm more into bigger fish that get big, but you know, they're really beautiful to have in a tank. Pet smart guys, they definitely know what they're doing. I mean, look at all this. A whole wall of every color plant, every length plant, every type of plant. It is crazy. Look at all this. Look at all this beautiful pond and tank stuff. Look at all this. This is definitely something to consider for the future when I get bigger tanks and bigger ponds possibly. I mean, look at all this. And look at this. It's beautiful. Beautiful water. That's cool. That's a cool wall. This is all just crazy cool. This is sick. I love this. This is cool. It gives you a place, gives your fish a place to hide. They just love mm -hmm. it. Really cool. Good design work on all these things too. One of the most popular aquarium fish right here, Neon Tetris. Look at this, guys. This is even like low tag. And look at the color. That is sick. It's so cool. More in here. Twig catfish. Never heard of that. I mean, like, I don't, I don't know how these fish are. Skeleton or something. Oh, it it's like clear through. This is crazy. Well, I mean, you guys will find out if you continue watching the video very soon what I'll be getting. I don't know, these black mollies are catching my eye. They're cool, but I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what we're gonna get. Everything here, which is so cool to get. Alright, everybody, we just purchased new members of the tank. Um, I feel a little surprised, you guys. It is more than one fish. Just a few little hints. The bags there, one bag there, one of the bags is the main fish that I talked about, and I showed you guys quick, so I'm not gonna reveal what it is yet. But I will show you guys as soon as we get home. Before we go, uh, as any of you who have ever bought fish in the past probably know, it is very hard to drive home with uh, a bag of fish in the seat because when you brake, stop, turn, the, f the bag could go flying. So what you want to do is put your fish in the cup holders. So when you stop, it is fine because the bag's angled with the knot at the top. So you just put that in the bottom. There's still plenty of room for your fish to be alive, obviously. And it keeps your bag bags in place. And we also got... Ah, uh, the blood worms. Different kind, though. The goods have been delivered. Alright, so we're finally home. I have had my fish acclimating for about uh, 17 minutes, which is what you want to do before you put any fish in any kind of tank. You always want to acclimate them for 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure they don't die of shock when they get into the water. But I'm finally going to reveal to you guys what we purchased at the store. Alright, so first, hard to see with the bubbles, but well, we do have a pleco, or an armored catfish is another name for it. Uh, I've always wanted one of these guys. They get really big too. They're really cool. They clean the tank for you. Very cool looking fish. And then, I said we got another fish. And we, did, we hit a score. We hit a deal on this one. Bam. An albino tiger Oscar. He looks sick. We did get 20 uh, rosy red minnows for the bluegill, but with the Oscar, um, I actually, I said I hit a deal because at pet stores you usually find them full grown for about 50 bucks, so I'm lucky I got a baby for only 10 bucks. This guy was also 10 bucks. So these two were a great deal, uh, hopefully they're going to be great additions to my tank, so I'm going to show you guys uh, releasing them. Go. Alright, so first up we have the Pleco. I'm just going to release him right here. Oh yeah, he's jumping. Don't. Oh yeah, there he goes. There he goes. There he, goes. he looks really cool. He's gonna get well, get along well with the other catfish. And they're very good cleaners for your tank. They clean the walls, clean the bottom, clean the rocks, they eat algae, other random stuff on the bottom of your tank. They're very good for your tank. And if you didn't know, they're called the armored catfish for a reason. I just touched this guy's head. It is solid as a rock, let me tell you. These guys are very hardy fish. Look at that. He's already cleaned the glass. So cool. Alright, so next up we're going to release the uh, Oscar. Alright, Tiger Oscar going in. He's going crazy. There he is. There he goes. It takes them a day or two to adjust. They'll be fine, especially when you put them right in. They freak out a bit, which all fish do. Nothing to worry about. Right now he's in a new habitat, you know. He has no idea where the heck he is. <laughs> They always want to find corners when they're first going in, anywhere to go against structure, so they always usually go against the glass. But yeah, he's doing good. This guy gets to about 16 inches, uh, 14 to 16 inches. What the heck? You snuggled up together, what the heck? Uh, the placard can get 16 to 24 inches, depending on where you put them, how big the space is, but yeah. Um, Oscar is pretty aggressive when they get older. Placo is the bottom for years, so he's not really aggressive. 
But um, I'm gonna name the Pleco Lemmy, <laughs> and the Albino Tiger Oscar. I'm gonna name him Doc. So um, the minnows, you guys are gonna have to wait uh, for next video to see the uh, bluegill eat them. That's gonna be in a separate video. Today we just got the fish, and um, that's all. Thank you all for watching video number two. I know the quality was a little bit uh, lower this time. I'm not filming what I usually film with for the other video, but definitely next week I will be back using what I filmed with originally so the quality will be better. Um, I will be giving an update video on the Albino Tiger Oscar and the Pleco, which will be a part of the next video, which is going to be a bluegill feeding video with the minnows, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, again, thank you for watching, and see ya!